In June of 2023, Harsh and I took our siblings along on a once in a lifetime adventure to the island country of Mauritius. What followed was a week filled with fun, laughter, and luxury like never before. We vlogged the entire trip because we wanted to remember this forever. So keep on watching and don't forget to like this video if you want to see more such vlogs from us in the future. planning a family trip for months on end we finally made it to this tiny island nation of Mauritius. Today is our first day over here and we're going to be here for about seven days and we're really excited for what all this place has to offer to us. This is the first time we've brought like our siblings along on any sort of trip with us so we're really excited to take them along. Today the plan is to get some breakfast we're just waiting for our brother and sister to get ready. After that we'll be heading out to the south part of the island where we'll be doing a bunch of adventure activities so let's go. Meet Pranav Meet Priya. Hello. Hi. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm Harsh's sister. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what do you Hi. do in life and are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm a student pursuing engineering and I'm very excited for today. Oh, I'm a psychologist. Next question. <laughs> are you guys hungry? Very, Very hungry. Let's go, do this. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> While we wait for our breakfast, let's show you our journey till Mauritius. Our journey began with a direct flight from Mumbai to Mauritius. We chose to fly with Air Mauritius but unfortunately did not get the best experience. The flight was delayed by a few hours and the overall experience was pretty average. But you know what, it was a midnight flight, 6 hours, we just slept through most of it. When we landed at Mauritius, it was around 8am and the immigration process was pretty straightforward. We booked a tour package for this trip with Pick Your Trail and they always deliver quality experiences and this trip to Mauritius was no different. Well, it was a long day one of travel so we just spent the whole day resting at the hotel. The real adventure starts today as we visit the Valley of Colours. It's a very famous nature park in Mauritius and they have a bunch of fun activities to do like quad biking, cycling, bridge walk and so much more. First, we're going to be exploring the nature park on quad bikes. So we got a quick practice session and off we went. Since this 23 coloured earth was discovered in 1998, it has become one of the most famous attractions. It is a phenomenon arising from volcanic activity which is totally unique to this one beautiful spot on earth. The whole experience of cycling on a zipline was so unique that we just had to try it out. This has got to be one of the best combinations of thrilling yet calming experiences because the views from the top were just so stunning. How's it? Fun! Yeah, bye. How's the experience, man? Fun, fun. We then had a quick lunch from one of the restaurants inside the valley and we had a nice view of the waterfall we had visited earlier. After lunch, the last activity for the day was a luge karting experience. It's sort of like a go-kart without wheels where you just have to depend on gravity to take you down a slope. It was so fun. Well, they don't really allow you to compete but we still did and you can see who won. To end the day, we visited a dormant volcano crater called the Thu Au Surf. It's an incredibly hard to pronounce French name. We're just practicing the right way to pronounce the name of the volcano. <laughs> what is it? Thu Au Surf. Thu Au Surf. Okay, now everyone tell their version. <laughs> Thu 
This volcano has been dormant for so long now that you can't even tell that it's a volcano due to the vast greenery that it has. Well, we got to see a very beautiful sunset from there, and after that, we headed back to our resort for some rest. Headed to do a really fun activity that you can only do in Mauritius. It's called a sub scooter. It's basically like a submarine, but it's a scooter. I've never done it before, but I've heard a lot about it. All of us are super excited. Uh, we're also going to be sitting in a submarine, so that's also really fun. Let's show you. There are only 12 submarines in the world, and the only one in the entire Indian Ocean is the Blue Safari submarine. After filling in the disclaimer forms, we were off to the submarine via a speedboat. It took us about 15 minutes to reach and once we reached, the staff instructed us on the next steps. The submarine can seat 10 people at a time and it goes to a depth of 35 meters. The visibility wasn't the best so all we saw was murky water but it was still a surreal experience being submerged in such a pressurized container. So we have like a small break before our next activity. So we just thought we'll grab some snacks from a local supermarket. This one's called Popo. That's a fun name. Now another fun activity we did was this thing called an underwater scooter. It's a one-of-a-kind experience that you can only have in Mauritius. We started the excursion by boarding a transfer boat to the operation platform where we discovered the underwater scooter. It looks exactly like a Vespa. Before the tour started, we got a briefing and changed into our swimsuits. The scooter was fairly simple to operate with a simple steering wheel and we had a diver accompanying us the whole time. After the underwater activities, we headed to this area called Grand Bai and tried some authentic Mauritian street food. We had crispy chicken with a salad and a chicken curry with tholpuri and some rice. It was very yummy. We ended our day at the resort and made our way to the creek to witness a beautiful sunset. The last couple of days we have been doing back-to-back -back activities so today we decided to chill out at the hotel itself and see what this place has to offer. So the resort that we stayed at for the first half of the trip is called Ocean's Creek and it's a four-star property nestled somewhere on the northwest coast of Mauritius. They offer a lot of fun activities to do at the property which is included in the cost of your room so we decided to just spend the whole day relaxing and trying out all those fun things. Let me do this now. Hush, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> I feel <Excited>. excited. <laughs> me, all me. This is the first time we are staying at a property which had its very own dedicated wall climbing area. Being the adventure enthusiasts that we are, we just had to try it out.
hope you enjoyed our first four days in Mauritius. We did so many things already, but we still have got four more days to go. Stay tuned for our next video where we switch resorts, go on a cycling tour, snorkeling, parasailing, and more. Until next time.